Hey everyone, Mitsen here, and welcome back to another installment of Let's Scare Max, except I decided to name this one Let's Spook Max. Um, before this, uh, episode starts, just want to say, hey, still, still selling my shirts. They're, they're here till November 1st. They got a big gold Z on it, and they're limited edition. So get them while they're... Hot. Yeah. Anyway, I got cheese here again today. Hey, 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 Bebo. How you doing? Her name is not Beth. Her name is, her name is Bebo. Or, gee, I call her Bebo. Only I call her Bebo. Anyway, so, uh, we're gonna be playing three more scary games, uh, spooky games. And they're gonna make me scream and yell because I don't like jump scares and I have a dreadful fear of those. So this is for purely for entertainment and help me get over that fear. Probably not gonna work, but you know what? It makes you guys laugh. So without further ado, let's hop right into the first game! Oh, hello. You're adorable! Hey, Spooky. How are you? So, a lot of you don't know this, uh... Spooky's House of Jumpscares was one of the first games I ever edited working at Sky Media. Uh, I edited for Ross's channel, I think I did one of Barney's. Uh, I haven't done that in like a year. So I don't I don't remember this game at all. So all I know is that there's uh, some spookiness and then there's like a hundred rooms or something like that. And uh, yeah, no, it's not fun. I know that sometimes uh, there's random jump scares. They're, they're really cute though. Like I like really cute cute things. So cute jump scares are not as bad as what I was uh what not as uh, it's all purple now. From what I remember, at least, there's not a lot of spookiness to this game, aside from, like, once you get towards the middle or towards the end of it. Uh, again, I don't remember a lot of what happened. That's not a really eerie painting at all. And, yeah, I'm just gonna keep going, keep playing. Uh, why can't I move? Thank you. Don't really feel like doing this anymore, having a lot of regrets. So, I'm trying to commentate without trying to have a have a mini heart attack, because I really don't like these games. And I feel like there's other games that I could be playing that could be worse. Like, I know a lot of people wanted me to play Sister Location, even though, you know, I didn't play the other four games on my channel. <laughs> I scared you. I was playing Galileo. <laughs> it was a pumpkin. It was a cute little pumpkin. I stubbed my toe on my computer. Now I'm in a lot of pain. I spook. I spook. I spook cheese more than I spooked myself. Oh, you petting Galileo? He's supposed to be helping me with emotional support. Oh, I don't. I don't. Who's at fault here? Stupid. Stupid cute things with the stupid. Now Galileo's snoring. Now I don't know. He's just being cute. There's too many damn cute things in this stupid. It's supposed to be spooky. It's supposed to be spooky. Nothing's happening. I just got spooked by a damn pumpkin. You got spooked. You petting my dog. You. Uh, oh, look at the little toast. That one didn't spook me that much. Do do do. Hush. Oh, okay. Jesus! Why am I- why- why would I want to explore this mansion in the first place? Like, I don't see the point of it. Like, what is there to do, aside from, you know, just keep getting jump scared? Oh, oh, I made- I made it to room 50. Okay. Well, I got spooked, my toe's in pain, you got probably a bigger jump scare than I did. Yeah. Next game. Alright, so I'm a little late to this party on the, this game. It's called Hello Neighbor. I'm pretty sure both Ross and Tim uh, played this on their channel. Uh, I know a little bit about it because I know Ross was interested in it, but from what I understand, you have to uh, get into that door and without getting caught. So that's my current goal right now. Uh, he seems to be preoccupied with his TV. I also heard the AI is really, really smart in this game, too, so that's what I'm actually looking forward to. Uh, I mean, I don't really know how I can break in. 
Uh, can I just like, can I just like go through the front door and like avoid him completely? I like if the AI is that smart. I mean, he should be able to hear me just walking around the outside of his house. Like I'm not too too worried. I'm just stalling because I'm frightened now. But it does. I mean, I heard if he chases me, I can just run back to the house as well. Is uh, is there anything I can? I just want to throw the box in the window. I think I'll do anything. What do you think? Thank you for your input. All right, so I'm gonna distract him with the box. Eh, how do I throw it? Oh, he got up. What is he doing? Just one. Turn off the TV. Where's he walking? I'm actually kind of curious now. Where's he going? Hey, buddy. What? Why is he just? Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Just, just. Oh, he's just, he's just little, 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 little guy. He got you. Whoa, ice break! Whoa, okay. I don't know what happened. My box is still here. Okay, thank you, Boxy. Okay. All right, so he was a little butt hurt that we disturbed his uh, his rest. That's, oh, he let a bear trap. Mmm. Oh, he's just watching TV again. All right, so I'm gonna go deliver this box. I did not mean to break his window. Why did that happen? No, 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 no. Where do I go, where do I go, where is the house, where is the house, where is the house? Why is the throw bear trap? Next game. Okay, so this final game, it's not really a game. Uh, it's kind of a really old comic. Uh, this came out a long time ago. I think 2011 is what it says. It's called uh, Bong Chion Dong Ghost. Uh, written, uh, written and illustrated by Hu Rang. Uh, this novel is based on true eyewitness accounts. That's terrifying. So, oh, Hu Rang? All right. Okay, I apologize. She, she, she just corrected me. So, pretty much all I do is, what I'm, for what I was told, is to just scroll and read the comic. So, that's that's what I do best. Just scroll and read the comic. Okay. It was 11.20 that night. I was dragging myself home, exhausted after a tiring study night sessions at school. But there was no one on the street, which I thought was strange. I usually see a lot of people at night, since my apartment complex is pretty big. Anyways, feeling scared, I kept looking down on the ground while walking home. I don't want to read anymore. You're not helping. Suddenly, a shadow stretched towards me caught my eyes, although there wasn't anyone around me. I looked up to see who there was. And saw a woman walking in front of me, but she looked a little strange. A woman? I could say she looked crippled. She was limping and struggling to walk in front of me. Since she was walking very slow, I soon caught up with her. Up close, I was able to see her even better. She was wearing dirty pink pajamas and looked as if all her joints in her body had been twisted. Worse, her hair was a mess and sticking out to everywhere. I'm sweating. I am not liking this story. I like how that's the worst part is that her hair was sticking out. Oh my god. <laughs> it seems so weird that I stopped walking. I felt like I shouldn't get any close to her, nor did I have the guts to pass her by. Nothing. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this, uh, this episode of Let's Scare Max. Uh, I'm not going to bother continue reading the story anymore because uh, it's like 12 a.m. and I want to go to bed. Uh, if you enjoyed what you saw here today, consider leaving a like. And uh, uh, remember, I'm, I'm Mitsan. 
that's cheese. And uh, then we appreciate your existence.